We now move on to the evaluation for our third speaker. And this is for the advanced speech project of Luis. Here to provide feedback, let's give it up for distinguished Toastmaster Ed Ramirez. Is it possible for you to become a better speaker overnight? Wow, <clears throat> what a title, what a topic. Thank you very much, Lois, for that very interesting presentation. <clears throat> First, what I like about your speech is that you shared a, a number of golden nuggets on how we could become better speakers. These are very interesting and relevant ideas that we could all use. Now, you presented this information in bullet formats. In that way, in our minds, the, this information was very much organized and easy to digest. Okay. Second, what I really like about your presentation is that uh, you emphasized your points effectively using visual aids. And considering just that you're very new to online presentations, we learned this, I just, I think just two days ago. And right now I noticed you were so seamless in shifting from your own presentation, your own view to a slide back to you, back to a slide back to you. It was very seamless. And wow, how, how did, were you able to synchronize this? <clears throat> that was very impressive, in my opinion. <clears throat> and well, another thing that I like about your presentation is that you were able to adjust your gestures, your vocal variety, your facial expressions for online presentation. And it was something that I could, I myself learned a lot from, okay? <clears throat> and most important of all, I noticed that you looked into the camera during your presentation, giving us that feeling that, hey, you're actually reaching out to each of us individually. <clears throat> Very good. Um, I only have a few recommendations. Number one, since this is a, a goodwill presentation and you are, based on the objectives, you are highlighting Toastmasters International, you may want to give an introduction by saying that, hey, you are a member of, I'm a member of Toastmasters International. Here's some tips that I picked up along the way. And then you share your presentation. And towards the end, you may tie it up again and say, ladies and gentlemen, do you find the information very informative? Well, I found it very helpful. You want to learn more? Why not check out Toastmasters International? Especially, you may want to join me at BF Community Toastmasters Club, okay? In that way, with that kind of presentation, you build the goodwill, which is really the objective. Now, I'm sure that you're biased because you said only BF Community Toastmasters, you're very much like me, but still, it was a good way. Now, you may want to also consider giving a personal testimony. How did these tips help you? Or how did being a member of Toastmasters really transform you from a very quiet person to a really uh, an outspoken leader, right? <clears throat> Finally, you may want to consider also raising the camera a little bit higher because I noticed that the top portion of your head was chopped off, okay? By doing so, your whole head and your shoulders and the top could effectively be shown, okay? Uh, thank you for that presentation. Congratulations, and Congratulations from, for being very effective in online presentations. Back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ed. 
Uh, I like how Ed comes across very motivating when he provides feedback for uh, Luis. In fact, uh, I, I agree how Ed was able to offer suggestions on how Luis could have, uh, could have delivered her speech in relation to objectives of uh, goodwill speech. And, of and yes, uh, endorsing a specific uh, club, uh, BF community, well, because this is a BF community meeting, that's, uh, and Luis is a member of BF community, it's, it's valid that she endorsed her club. Yeah. Now, uh, something that we can, uh, we can do also, Ed, we could probably mention to Luis that no need for her to say that the title of my speech is something, something. So she could just go straight to everyone, especially the guests. Well, welcome to be a community. And let me share with you, yes, the, like the example that you gave. So that way she, she doesn't take too much time in her introduction. Well, it looks like with the tips that uh, Luis has given, I'd say uh, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Ed, looks like Luis is uh, ready to get paid to speak <laughs> soon enough, okay? <laughs> Let's give a big hand not only to Luis, but also to Distinguished Toastmaster Ed. We now move on to, well, we had our fourth speaker, and this was for, uh, for Jude, for his presentation on evaluate to motivate. As this is an educational talk, it's, uh, we don't necessarily give uh, feedback, but for the benefit of Jude, I'd like to compliment him on taking time to have this presentation, not only for our members in today's meeting, but also for the guests, because it, First, it shows out to our guests how feedback is something that we value in the Toastmasters organization. And then for the new Toastmasters in the club, it shows how they can develop their evaluation skills while being members here in BF community. Something that I would like to recommend for, for Jude. So uh, there are some portions there next time in the presentation where I felt that you would read from the slide. So one example would be towards the conclusion, the conclusion side. Uh, perhaps what you can do next time when you show those four bullet points, uh, well, you can just have a conversation with the group. You, you can just say, uh, like, let's say the first part, you can start, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, a good thing about uh, con connecting with the opening statement is, uh, then after it mentioned the example, then continue. After that's when you move on to, uh, the summary, instead of reading it, you could just say, oh, a helpful tip when it comes to the summary is uh, something, something. And some of the people who had given uh, terrific summaries in their feedback would be uh, A.D. Lea, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the effect of this is mention it. So, in, so uh, what happens is the audience, they're able to read what the content on the slide. And because you're already giving, you're already giving systematic descriptions, they're able to, to get persuaded easier. So just a recommendation the next time you have a presentation, Jude, and you won't anymore have to read from the slide. Other than that, thank you very much for showing this very important module that helps in the evaluation skills of our, of our friends in the Toastmasters community. Let's give Jude a round of applause. All right, we now move on to the functionaries of our program. Here we have someone who has carefully been listening to how we use English. And it's really important that uh, this person uh, function as our grammarian because without him, the development of our vocabulary would be in constant quarantine. Let's give it up for our, uh, for our grammarian. Let's give it up for Pamela Pataxil, Toastmaster. Thank you for that. Dear fellow Toastmasters, friends, and guests, it is indeed interesting to listen to your speeches as well as ideas during the table topic portion and prepared speeches. I find a few excellent expressions. One of those is the portion wherein VP Lois mentioned the sentence, becoming a good speaker is a life journey. This is an inspiring word of wisdom, words of wisdom for both old and new as well as incoming members of the Toastmasters. This is something that we can reflect on as we think of our 
two-month journey. Meanwhile, I would like to point out on some areas where we can improve on. First is the use of incomplete sentences. Uh, we tend to use phrases, for example, and it would be nice, then beginning again with end for the next sentence. And an example is, so this exercise will, so I do a mixed cardio. It might be better to be conscious of such and complete each sentence before beginning on a new one. I think this might be because we are in such a hurry to move on to the next idea that we lose track of the next sentence, or, or we lose track of completing the sentence first. Next is the subject verb agreement. A dad have to be, a dad has to be. And a lot of us are still unaware of using the a uh, expression as a fill-in gap while we think of the next word to be delivered. Then some of us use the jargon or expression, you know, on a positive note, I would like to commend iPad Jude Ola for using the word quarantine, not only once but twice. Also, um, our governor Raul for using the word quarantine. I hope everyone was enlightened on the proper usage of the term that is both a noun and a verb since it's highly relevant in today's uh, scenario. That is all. Thank all right you. all right well thank you very much pam now uh, guys i i like how pam is able to take note of the quotable quotes of our participants she's also able to give feedback as a grammarian she's able to give feedback on sentence completion subjective and verb agreement and she's able to support it by providing a specific example uh, something that i'd like to recommend for pam uh, of course, perhaps uh, you, we could uh, expand the, the quotable quotes or maybe uh, phrases that were used by our other participants, like the ones from table topics and even our speakers. That way, it motivates the participants. All in all, good show of listening skills, Pam. Let's give her a big hand. Thank you, Pam. All right, Thank you. moving on. Okay, yeah. moving on to our next functionary. We have someone who's been carefully monitoring the aspirative pauses here to provide the ah counter support. Let's give it up for Leticia Hidalgo. Can you hear? Yes, you can. Uh, Leo and Lois. Okay, and then now Patricia had the five, ten, fifteen us. Mylene had uh, seventeen. Heather four, four zero also. Uh, Jude had um, twenty-five. Uh, Christina had. 19, Marlon had 11, Christina had 14, Gigi, 8, Les had 0 also, and Raul had uh, 8, Enzo had 19, Joy, Joy Timball had 1, Ellen had 3. That is all. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Leticia. I, I like how Leticia is able to show her listening skills. I mean, we had quite a number of speakers, seven for table topics and four prepared speakers, and she was able to make sure that they were thoroughly covered. Mm. Oh, just a minor area for improvement, mm. Leticia, perhaps towards the end, instead of saying, you know, that is all, maybe you could... Uh, give us a call to action something along the lines of so ladies and gentlemen let's do what we can to minimize our aspirative pauses uh, let's continue to participate in toastmasters and benefit from the feedback so some some encouraging thing for them to do as far as toastmasters go 
still I terrific way of me. showing your uh, what's that? I forgot Gigi. I forgot Gigi, but it's okay. Ah, okay, Gigi. It, 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 oh, it, okay. It's okay. I think, ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, that 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 shows how everyone was totally covered. So towards the end, anytime you give your report, perhaps a, a slight uh, call to action or some or something that our participants can do as far as the odds are concerned. Still, terrific show of listening skills. Let's give Leticia a round of applause. Okay. Onwards now to how well we were able to use our time. And here to offer the timer's report, let's give it up for Toastmaster Carlo Habat. Carlo? Hello, everyone. For the sake of our, for the benefit of our guests, uh, I would like to explain my role as a timekeeper. So the role as a, uh, of the timekeeper is first to monitor the length of speeches in order to, to prepare Toastmasters for competition where participants are timed strictly. And second, to keep track of time in order to meet, keep, keep the meeting moving in an orderly, orderly and timely fashion. For table topics, the empath uh, was the first one to go. She clocked in at 2 minutes and 45 seconds over time. Miss Marlene, our guest, uh, was 1 minute and 40 seconds. That is on time. Uh, Heather, also another guest, uh, 1 minute and 22 seconds on time. Kim Porsche, uh, 57 seconds under time. Kim Jude, uh, 2 minutes and 22 seconds over time. And then Kim Ellen, uh, 1 minute and 51 seconds on time. Kim Joy, 49 seconds uh, under time. Uh, for now for the uh, prepared speeches, Kim uh, Christina locked in at 7 minutes and 23 seconds over time. Kim uh, Marlon clocked in at 13 minutes and 5 seconds over time. Kim Lois at 8 minutes and 26 seconds over time. Uh, and then TM Jude at 15 minutes and 13 seconds uh, over time. For the evaluation portion, oh, sorry. Well, before we go to the evaluation portion, we took a break at 3.48 and resumed exactly at 4.03. Uh, and now for the evaluation portion, uh, TM Enzo took 5 minutes and 51 seconds under time. Uh, the impact's evaluation is three minutes and five seconds over time. TMGG's evaluation, uh, two minutes and 20 seconds on time. And then DTM Ed's evaluation, uh, four minutes and 31 seconds over time. Uh, all in all, I think uh, we started at exactly two o'clock and uh, two o'clock, yes. Um, and even in this time, uh, and I would like to also commend every one of us that despite this time of quarantine and we're online, we still started uh, early. Everyone had got their bearings very early, especially last night with the trial, uh, trial run of this uh, online meeting. So back to you, uh, A.D. Ching, right? Or Sir, uh, Sir O. All right. Thank Sir. you very much. Hey. All right. Thank you very much, Carlo. I, I like how Carlo is able to give a complete uh, report as far as the time used by our participants. Now, for the guests, the reason we check the time of our participants is because we want to make sure they're able to give their message within the specified time that has been allotted to them. Otherwise, if they always go over time, well, uh, their message could they risk losing their message. Here in Toastmasters, we're able to develop the discipline of making sure the content is given within the exact time. And our good friend Carlo was able to help us realize that goal. Let's give Carlo a round of applause. Okay. Now onwards to my comments on our online meeting. I'm, I feel very privileged to be your general evaluator in this historic first online meeting of the BF Community Toastmasters Club. And it's quite a successful meeting when you look at the way that our 
leaders in the BF Community Toastmasters Club have put a lot of effort in making sure that this online meeting, the very first online meeting of BF Community would be a successful event. Imagine as early as last night, the leaders did a dry run. And then uh, when I came here, when I joined the, the meeting at around 1.25, uh, the leaders were already here making sure that everything would be, would be in place. And what's also very impressive is all the speakers were around. No one backed out. The participants came in. Very, uh, very impressive. Now, uh, something that I would like to recommend as you continue to have your online meeting, I, I felt that there were some portions of the program where there was a bit of uh, background noise. So uh, a couple of alternatives that uh, we could do, maybe uh, the rest of the participants, we could start uh, getting these uh, noise-canceling headphones. They're, they're not very expensive, but anyway, they help so that just in case maybe a dog barks or, the, or maybe something falls, at least they won't be distracted. That's one. And, uh, but, uh, uh, but other than that, I think everything else went smoothly. Now for my comments on our Toastmaster of the day. This is for Toastmaster Ching. Ching, show, Ching comes across as very cheerful. And in fact, I like how Ching, you're able to acknowledge not just the guests, but also your, uh, how she transitions by complimenting the participants, like the way she compliments our topic master, the person who gave the presentations, and then as well as the, the speakers. Uh, and she shows a whole lot of enthusiasm in, in her presentation. Mm, just a minor area for improvement, uh, Toastmaster Ching. Uh, it might be helpful because we have also participants here. Maybe if you have a copy of the Toastmasters magazine, maybe you could just show it to them, uh, show it to them from your screen so that you could let them know that once our guests become members in BF community, uh, or in any toast in the Toastmasters organization, they could look forward as well to getting a copy of the Toastmasters magazine and uh, as well as getting to be part of Pathways, uh, depending on what their choice is. But uh, uh, all in all, you know what, Ching, you were very confident, and I like how you came across as very natural during our program today. Let's give Ching a round of applause. I enjoyed being the general evaluator in today's, uh, today's meeting, in this historic online meeting of BF Community. Madam Toastmaster, I yield the floor. Thank you, DTM Raul. We are so privileged to have you for our general evaluator today. Our first online meeting for BF Community Toastmasters Club. And it was well attended, very productive indeed, a wonderful surprise, delightful adventure for the group moving forward as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our evaluation portion. You've been a wonderful online audience. And at this point, I turn over the floor to our president, Christina Jung, for some announcements. Yes. I uh, would like to give you our announcement. Our next meeting will be on April 4th. Uh, hopefully to see you again on an online meeting by on April 4th, same time. I also would like to remind everyone our renewal. Treasurer Marlon will give you the details of it's either you send online the fee is 3,200 pesos. It's extended until April 30, but hopefully we can get the renewals on or before April 15. Also, now I would also would like to ask for some comments or remarks from our guests. Mylene, can we get some comments or feedback? Mm. 
Oh, she's on mute. No, it's. Sorry. Hello. Okay, Hello. You speak now. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you, can you hear everyone? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, I would like to thank you all of all of you for this kind of online meeting because this is my first time to attend. I think I'm looking forward to to be with you and meet you personally. But overall, thank you very much. Thank you. Plans so of joining. Yeah. Plans of joining, Miss Mylene. Can we also get our, uh, feedback from our guest, John? John Mangahas, are you there? Oh, still on mute. Yes, thank you so much for today. I learned a lot. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hope to see you on our next meeting again. Yes, yes, yes. April 4th. Uh, yes, another day. Same time. Yes, yes I will show okay. you. Thank you. How about our guest, Heather? Heather, are you still there? Yes, hello. I, I enjoyed hello, the Heather. meeting. Yes, hello. Uh, I actually joined another online meeting before from another club. And it's actually good that we're a lot because before when I joined an online meeting we were just like about five people or seven people so it's good that there are a lot of people participating and the program was smooth everything on time etc so yeah good job to everyone who organized the online thank you to BF community members and guests Gobra Ul, to all the ADs, thank you so much. This was a successful online meeting we had. I'm very excited and so happy to see everyone. And hope to see you on our next meeting, okay? April 4th, the, the week after, the Saturday, the week after. Then it's now to my time to call the meeting adjourned. Yay! Yay! Okay, five o'clock. Picture. Wait, Picture. Picture. Wait, <laughs> and picture. picture. Hold on. Okay, smile, everyone. Now uh, I'll take a screenshot. I think there are people who haven't at speak. So. Yeah. Oh, someone wants to, uh, before five. Who wasn't able to speak, James? Margaret? Oh, yeah, James. Yeah. Let's, let's have them speak as well. Uh, James, how was the meeting? James. How was the meeting? James? On. James, can you hear us? Yes. How was the meeting? How yes, I can hear you a little choppy. Oh, okay. How was the so meeting? So far, so good. We, I had my first online meeting with one of my clubs last Wednesday. And I have to say that you've done much better than we did. Oh, and I will God. apply what you did. Last. Yeah. I'll apply what you did now with uh, my next online meeting. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Margaret? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful meeting. Thank you. Margaret? Yes. You have to speak. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think for now, I, I love how this meeting have, uh, goes, and I learn a lot from it, and, uh, with a lot of topics, 
at hand. So I'll make the most out of it next time. Thank you. See you April 4. Wait, screenshot first. Screenshot. Ready? Okay. Look at the camera, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Thank you for hosting, Pat. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Okay. Padala niyo na lang po yung, ano, yung fee sa video ko. Char. <laughs> May talent fee to. Kala nyo libre. Char. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank April 4. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.